Are you expecting a new baby and wondering how to introduce your furry friend to the new family member? Well, you've come to the right place. It's completely natural to feel a bit apprehensive about this new dynamic. But don't worry, we're here to guide you through the process. The first step in this journey is preparation. It's crucial not just for you but for your four-legged companion as well. Why you ask? Well, just like us, our pets thrive on routine and familiarity. The sudden arrival of a new family member can potentially disrupt their routine and cause stress. So, to make this transition smoother, it's important to introduce gradual changes in their routine. For instance, if your pet is used to having all your attention, start teaching them to enjoy their own company. This could involve spending a bit less time playing with them each day or encouraging independent play. Trust me, this will help them adjust to the times when you'll be busy with the baby. Next, let's talk about baby-related items. These items, from cribs to baby clothes, will be new and unfamiliar to your pet. To prevent any surprises, introduce these items into your home well in advance. Allow your pet to explore and get accustomed to these new additions. However, remember to supervise these interactions to ensure that your pet treats these items gently. Lastly, consider creating a safe space for your pet. This could be a cozy corner in your living room with their favorite toys and a comfortable bed. This space will provide a sense of security for your pet during this period of change and who knows, it might just become their new favorite spot. In all of this, patience is your best friend. It's okay if your pet takes some time to adjust to these changes. After all, they are part of the family and deserve all the love and understanding during this transition. Remember, gradual changes and patience are key in preparing your pet for the new family member. And with these steps, you're well on your way to ensuring a smooth introduction between your pet and your new baby. Now you've prepared your pet and the big day has arrived. How should the first meeting go? This moment is a significant one, a bridge between two worlds, two loved ones that you want to foster a bond between. It's a delicate dance and it's important to choreograph it well. Let's start with the importance of calmness. Dogs are incredibly perceptive creatures. They can sense our emotions, our energy. If you're anxious, they're likely to pick up on that. So it's essential to approach this moment with a calm and relaxed demeanor. Take a few deep breaths, let your worries out and trust in the process. Next, let's talk about supervision. This isn't a moment to leave to chance. You want to be there, guiding this interaction. Your presence gives your dog the reassurance they need in this new situation. It also allows you to intervene if necessary to ensure safety for both your baby and your dog. Now, where should this first meeting take place? An ideal setting would be a neutral location. This could be a room where your dog doesn't spend much time or even a quiet spot in your backyard. The goal is to avoid territorial feelings that might arise if the introduction happens in your dog's favorite spot. And here's a key point, positive reinforcement. Dogs respond incredibly well to this method. So when your dog behaves well during this first meeting, reward them. A treat, a belly rub or a simple good job can go a long way in encouraging the behavior you want to see. Lastly, remember to take it slow. This isn't a race. Let your dog and your baby get to know each other at their own pace. It's a process, a journey and like any journey, it's about the steps along the way, not just the destination. The first meeting is crucial, but remember, it's just the beginning of their relationship. It's the first of many moments, the start of a beautiful bond. And you, dear parent, are the bridge that connects these two worlds. So take a deep breath and step into this journey with love and patience. After the first introduction, how do you ensure that your pet and your baby coexist peacefully? This is the question that often lingers in the minds of many new parents. The answer lies in two key strategies, establishing routines and setting boundaries. First, let's talk about routines. Animals, especially dogs, thrive on routine. It gives them a sense of security and helps them understand their place in the family. Imagine being in your pet's shoes, or rather, paws. One day, they're the center of attention, and the next, there's a new tiny human taking up all the time and space. This can be quite unsettling for your pet. To help them adjust, it's crucial to maintain their regular routines as much as possible. 
This includes feeding times, walks, play times and even their bedtime. If these routines are disrupted, your pet could start feeling neglected and react negatively. So while it might be challenging juggling the demands of a new baby and a pet, remember that consistency is key for your furry friend. Next, we move on to boundaries. Setting boundaries is just as important as maintaining routines. Your pet needs to understand that there are certain spaces and items that are off limits. This could be the baby's room, the crib or even the baby's toys. Training your pet to respect these boundaries is essential. This might involve teaching them commands like leave it or stay. Remember, patience is key. It might take time for your pet to fully understand and respect these boundaries. Supervision is also important when your pet and baby are together. Never leave them alone unsupervised no matter how well they seem to be getting along. This is to ensure the safety of both your baby and your pet. In conclusion, harmonious coexistence between your pet and your new baby is all about maintaining routines, setting boundaries and keeping a watchful eye. It might seem overwhelming at first, but with patience and consistency, it will soon become second nature. Establishing routines and boundaries will ensure a peaceful coexistence between your pet and your new baby. You've done the introduction, set routines and boundaries, what's next? Now it's time to keep a close eye on your pet's behavior and make necessary adjustments. You've laid the groundwork for a harmonious relationship between your child and your pet. However, this stage is crucial for maintaining that relationship. Monitoring your pet's behavior allows you to understand how they're adapting to the new family dynamic. Look for any changes in their eating or sleeping patterns or shifts in their overall demeanor. Are they more lethargic than usual? or perhaps showing signs of restlessness or anxiety. These could be indicators that your pet is feeling stressed or uncomfortable. Remember, dogs communicate through their behavior. If they start exhibiting unusual behavior, it might be their way of telling you they're not entirely comfortable with the situation. This could include excessive barking or whining, becoming overly clingy, or showing signs of aggression. If you notice any of these signs, don't panic. It doesn't mean your pet and your child can't coexist happily. It just means you might need to make some adjustments. Maybe your dog needs more one-on-one -on -one time with you. Or perhaps they need a quiet space they can retreat to when things get too noisy or chaotic. You might also need to revisit some of the routines or boundaries you've set up. Are they realistic for your pet? Do they accommodate your pet's needs and personality? Remember, what works for one pet might not work for another. It's important to be flexible and willing to make changes as necessary. You might also consider seeking advice from a professional, such as a vet or a pet behaviorist. They can provide valuable insights and suggest strategies you might not have thought of. In the end, the goal is to ensure that both your child and your pet feel safe and comfortable in their shared environment. It might take some time and patience, but with careful monitoring and adjustments, you can help foster a loving relationship between your child and your pet. Remember, every pet is unique and adjustments may be necessary along the way. So, you've successfully introduced your pet to your new baby. What can you expect from their relationship? Now, we're at the most heartwarming part of this journey, enjoying the bond. The bond between your pet and your baby can be one of the most beautiful relationships to witness. It's like a silent promise of unwavering companionship, a pact of mutual respect and a bond of unconditional love. It's not just about a wagging tail or a gurgling giggle. It's about two beings growing together, learning from each other and creating a world of their own. One of the greatest benefits of this bond is the companionship it offers. Your baby and your pet will have a friend in each other, a playmate, a confidant. This bond can help alleviate feelings of loneliness or anxiety in your child, offering a sense of security and comfort. Your pet too will enjoy the company and attention, adding a new dimension to their life. But it's not just about companionship. This relationship can also foster the development of empathy in your child. As they grow, they'll learn to understand and respond to your pet's needs, feelings and emotions. They'll learn about caring, sharing and the importance of being gentle. They'll learn that every life is valuable and every creature deserves love and respect. So, as this bond develops, what should you do? 
Well, the answer is simple. Enjoy it and nurture it. Be there to guide them, but also give them the freedom to explore this relationship on their own terms. Capture the candid moments, the innocent playtimes, the silent conversations. These are the memories that you'll cherish for a lifetime. Remember, this bond is just as unique as your pet and your baby. It will grow and evolve over time, shaped by their personalities and experiences. So give it the time it needs to flourish. With patience and understanding, your pet and your baby can form a bond that's truly special. This bond is not just about companionship or empathy. It's about love, respect, and a lifelong friendship that enriches the lives of both your pet and your baby. Enjoy this journey because it's one of the most beautiful parts of being a parent and a pet owner.